Hey you guys, it's Peter and Pee Pee. And welcome to my channel, <laughs> my so-called healthy life. Well, all good things must come to an end. Right, Pee Pee? So let me tell you guys a little story. And um, <laughs> this video is not probably what you think it's gonna be. But um, I was driving around. I don't know like why I'm getting kind of sad thinking about this, but like, I think because of the struggle and the journey that I've had in my life um, with eating and with food. It was interesting to me how many people commented on my video that I did the other day that, you know, they really came to this channel for weight loss and all of that stuff. And um, it really put something in motion inside of me. Let me grab my coffee. It really put something in, I, I'm literally just talking to you guys as if we're just friends at a dinner table, okay? So like, this is not a serious video today. There will be no meditation. There will be no motivation. I'm just telling you where I'm at. Um, but it really got, you know, my wheels turning and thinking about things. And since I was 17 years old, I can remember, you know, 15 to 17, going on my first diet. And actually, my first diets were pretty healthy. Um, I remember eating vegetables every day. And my mom would make me grilled chicken. And we would walk every night for a mile. And some of those walks are still to me. We would walk can remember way down our street, all the way down to Mohawk Trails, my elementary school, past our, my junior high, and we would turn around and come back. And it was about an hour, hour and a half walk every time. And I'm so thankful for those walks, you know? They weren't just exercise. They were um, some moments with my mother that I'll, you know, always look back on. And we had great talks during that time. And um, I went from sophomore into junior year, and I had lost about 35, 40 pounds that summer from walking and eating healthy. And I remember when I went back to school, like, I wouldn't say that, like, everybody wanted to go out with me, but people did respond to me differently. I would like to say that we didn't live in a world where, uh, you know, people judged you for how you looked or your weight or things like that, but that's just not the case. And, um, and I think, worst of all, we judge ourselves. So the other day when people commented on that and said, I came here for the weight loss, I came here for the weight loss, I was really wanting to do it with you and all this kind of stuff. And... I was like, you know, like I've said it, I, then I'm gonna start it and then I don't, and then I've said it, then I'm gonna start it, then I don't. And um, I was driving around with my best friend that night, Tanya, and I said to her, I said, you know, like, I watch all of these weight loss channels that are super, super inspiring to me and they're motivational because people are like kindly, like finally like, I've had it, I'm done. And um, actually it was interesting because like about a year ago, I started watching this guy and he would just like film himself on camera as he walked. I cannot remember who this guy is. If anybody knows who he is, he literally had like a hundred people that watched him and that was it, which not a whole lot less than what I have. And um, so anyway, but I would watch his videos and I, like, you know, and the other thing that's interesting is that um, two years ago, I um, did a raw foods diet and somebody out there, Devin, you know who you are, um, we met through my YouTube channel and he started a raw foods diet and he started working out and Devin now has lost a shit ton of weight. His entire Instagram is all completely healthy living foods, marathons that he's living and all those kinds of things. And, um, you know, it's, I'm so proud of him, right? But at the same time, it's really hard to watch that and go, okay, so you inspired this person into healthy living, which it has really nothing to do with me, but I do think that's where it started because he like, we were gonna do it together. But he has kept it up for two years and is in the best condition he's ever been in in his entire life. And you can't hold this together at all. So I was talking to my best friend, Tanya, the other night, and I said, it's, just, it's time. And she was like, what do you mean? And I go, it's time for me to do this and to get healthy. Like it's over. Like I'm, I'm now eating fast food, eating bad food and I'm feeling guilty for it. You know, it's, you know, gambler's remorse kind of thing. It's like drinking, drugging remorse kind of thing. I'm starting to feel that way when I eat, I'm not feeling good about myself. And you know, a lot of people are like, you're really not that heavy. You're really not that heavy. Well, go look at some of my vlogs and you can see me full body. Okay. And you can see my gut and you can see my chest area where I'm not like editing it out from what you guys can see. And I'm not seeing it angled. So you can only see this. And you know, um, I know what tricks to pull, but I see myself at the end of the day and I see what clothes don't fit me. And I see that I'm not comfortable and as confident as I used to be. And I said to her, I said, you know, what's interesting is if I dedicated just a year to this and I know that I can do this, if I dedicated a year and she was like, okay, well, we're going to start working out and we're going to start, you know, eating healthy and I'll be your accountability partner and you can be mine. And then Alex is already wanting to do this. 
So it's like turning my whole life around into this whole lifestyle thing, and I'm the one that's standing in the way of it. I'm my main obstacle, and I think it's time. And I said, you know, I want to just do dedicate a year to this. And, you know, if in a year I'm eating healthier, I'm working out on a regular basis, I mean, I know I'm going to feel great, right? And so the end result is going to be just keep on doing it. And, um, but I, you know, I was thinking about this because I was talking in my vlog the other day about when I got sober and there was always like, I'm going to do it tomorrow. I'm going to do it tomorrow. I'm going to do it tomorrow, which I've talked about on this channel before. And there were never enough tomorrows, you know, and I really had to be forced into doing it. Um, I had to be basically thrown into treatment with somebody saying to me, you know, my father, you're either going to go to treatment or you're going to go to prison. Which one do you want? Um, so anyway, it's time, you know. All good things must come to an end. My food binging, my treating, my snacks, my fast food late at night, all of it, it's time for it to end. It's time for me to pull my shit together. I would really, really, really love to show my weight loss journey on a daily basis on here. It's going to start tomorrow. Um, like I said, there's never enough tomorrows, but tomorrow is the day. And that's when you come tomorrow, the video is going to be called tomorrow's or today is the day or tomorrow's the day or something like that. But like, um, I'm ready. I'm I've talked to all of my support people around me to hold me accountable. Um, I've talked to my friend that is, you know, trained in nutrition and fitness. Um, I have a plan and I'm ready. And this is just me coming on camera because if I don't get honest about it and I don't hold myself accountable, I won't continue to do it. And um, it's just time. It's time and it's time for me to really work towards getting into healthy living. So I hope you guys can support me. If a lot of you are out there watching it going, oh God, not again, I can't do this. I totally understand. Thank you for sticking it up through this far. Um, and if you wanna check back in a month or two and say like, let's see what he's doing, what he's up to now. I hope that I'm still on my journey of you know getting into shape. Um, I can't make any promises. I'm scared to do it. Um, just like I was scared giving up other things in my life. You know, I couldn't imagine my life without it. So. I'm scared about this as well, but it's time. And, you know, I don't have time on my side anymore. I'm getting older. So um, if I don't do it now, I don't know when I'll do it. And I think that's all I have to say. I love you guys. Um, you're always so supportive of me. It means the world to me. And um, I appreciate it. So I'll see you on the other side. Bye.